where I slept. We made bunks out of these. We spent two weeks sleeping in this. Oh, how did I ever get in there? It's amazing. You have to climb in from the top. So I'll go up the cockpit. Uh, I used to get the right up here too. Uh, I can't believe I maneuvered around inside this thing. Yeah. We took turns. This is video. Oh, okay. We would take turns. One would be the driver in the cockpit here, and the other would be the commander. He usually arrived with his head up above, standing on the seat up high. Went through all the tank trails down here. Uh, my head would be sticking out of that cockpit over there. And I could actually squeeze in here to get in here. Wow. And here's the engines in here. You had nothing separating you but this tiny little wall. And the big gigantic diesel engine. So you can't squeeze up there anymore, Mac? I can't get in the cockpit. I used to be able when I was 150 pounds. You, you, you can get in there. 1975, he was driving one of these around here. He has been in there since then. It's a little harder to get in than I used to. Oh yeah, when you're 100 pounds heavier. <laughs> I also didn't get stuck in the music. How the hell did I ever get in there? Steering wheel, you had the brakes. This this uh, seat would move up so you could see out the top, and then it had a paris not a periscope, but the windows to look through if you're inside driving. And the way you broke it, put your foot on the throttle and cut the engine. This is how bad ideas start. Wow. That's cool. I tooled all over the tank trails down here.